Hey there, Avra here with Cami. Have you ever wondered if you can make drag and drop activities for students in Cami? The answer is yes. Let's take a look. To begin making a drag and drop activity, I'll start at the dashboard. Remember, you can get to the dashboard by typing in kami.app in your browser or by simply using the Google Chrome extension. Now, we'll head to the open file area over here and we'll pull in the file on which we want to add movable elements in order to make the drag and drop activity. This might be stored in your Google Drive, in OneDrive, on your computer, or you could even use something from the Kami library. For this example, I'll head to Google Drive and I'll head to my Word Families folder and bring in this AN Word Family document. From here, I want to create text boxes with the beginning consonant sound in order for students to drag them and create words here in the bubble map. So I'll start by clicking on the text box tool, then I'll click somewhere on the page and I'll type a C and then an M and so on and so forth. Then if I'd like, I can take my mouse and kind of move them around, get them to where I'd like them to be. Next, what I want to do is add images that will correspond with the words that the students will build. So now I'll head over to the Add Media option here at the bottom. From here, I've got some images stored on my computer. So I'll go ahead and, and click the file folder. That's the My Computer option. From here, I'll head to the appropriate folder and add each of these images in. And I'll put them where I want them to go. Once I'm done with this process, it's time to add it to my learning management system. So I'll head over to Google Classroom and I'll go to Create. From here, I'll want to make sure to choose a Kami assignment. Now you'll go through the process of creating a typical Google Classroom Kami assignment. Heading down to Google Drive and then going to the appropriate folder and double clicking on the document that we want to bring in. Cami and Google Classroom make a copy for each student, and you as a teacher can come over here and adjust any of these settings. Don't forget, feature controls are an awesome way of being able to choose which tools in Cami your students need. In this case, all we're asking them to do is drag and drop, so they'll need the Select tool. Let's turn everything else off by clicking All Off. Then we'll choose the Select tool. And maybe we want to give them a voice comment and a text box. The voice comment would allow the students to read the words after they create them. We'll slide all the way down to the bottom and hit OK. From here, we'll go ahead and hit Assign. Next, we will take a look at the student view so that you can see what your students will see. Students will come in and click on the assignment, and then they'll choose Open with Cami. The assignment loads up in a new tab. And as you can see, the student only has access to the tools or the features that the teacher has chosen. So let's start with the select tool. Students can take the letters and drag them around in order to build the words. They can do the same thing with the image and drag it over to where it belongs as well. As they work through the entire assignment, they could use a text box to add something to the page if their teacher gives them that direction. They can also use the voice comment to read the word, can. When they're done, they'll simply hit turn in. That's the process for creating drag and drop activities for students. Thanks so much for watching.